Whether you're new to Animal Crossing or you've been permanently in debt to Tom Nook for years now, there are many things on all experience levels that, once you know, will significantly improve your island life when playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Welcome to Watch Mojo. I'm Jess Adele, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things Animal Crossing New Horizons doesn't tell you. Number 10. Checking the beach each day. Walking along the beach is already on your daily to-do list, of course, but if collecting seashells and going fishing are the only subpoints on there, then you're missing something super helpful. Every single day, a message in a bottle will spawn somewhere on the shore, delivering you a new DIY recipe to build something new. The more DIY recipes, the better your island life. Sometimes you'll even spot Gulliver washed up on your shore. If you do, make sure to help him out. Number 9. Brace yourself when hitting rocks. First of all, you'll have up to eight chances to hit a rock with your shovel or ax and either earn minerals or, if you're hitting one of your money rocks for the day, bells. However, each time you hit the rock, you'll get knocked back. And the rocks are on a timer, so if you don't get in all eight hits within the time, better luck next time. So to maximize the number of successful swings you can take, stand diagonally from the rock and dig two holes right behind where you would normally be knocked back. Now you should have zero problems getting eight hits every time. Number eight, you can actually poop in toilets. Yep, you heard that right. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, each time you eat a fruit, a little counter will appear confirming the number you've eaten. Now, if you were expecting that when you eat 10, you'll go Super Saiyan or something, sadly you'd be wrong. But what it does do is, each fruit you eat will allow you to do one thing that requires a ton of strength to do, like destroying a rock or digging up an entire full-grown tree like you've been training for a caber toss your whole life. So, if you don't want to destroy a rock, but you're armed and ready to do so, you can use a toilet to poop out the extra fruit. You just have to find or get one first. Orange, you glad you know that now? I'm sorry, oranges are my native fruit. I had to do it to him. Number seven, trust your ears. You know how you have to wait until you see the right animation before you can catch a fish? Well, for those rare fish that let go of the line way too quickly, try hitting A when you hear the fish bite rather than seeing it. Scientifically, your ears have greater reaction time than your eyes. And if you're still struggling, you can try catching them while playing in handheld mode as some TVs have minor latency that can reduce reaction time. You've got this! Or should I say, you caught this. <laughs> Number six, Hidden North Beach. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, the land you're dealing with this time around is your own personal island. An island that'll always have a beach around these three edges. But did you know that some maps also have a small north facing beach? If you're not sure whether you have one or not, just pop up your map and check if there's a small sandy area at the top. Usually they'll be hidden behind cliffs, so you might need a ladder to access it. If you're lucky enough to have one and need to get away from the rest of your getaway island, change the camera angle and enjoy the view. Number five, check turnip prices twice daily. <laughs> Trying to make some extra bells and wish there was some sort of stock market in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, there is, for turnips. If you get a turnip, don't waste it by eating it, sell it. Turnip prices have one value before noon and another after. Turnip value will either slowly rise to a bit above 200 over the course of a few days or have a random spike above 500 for one of those periods. Also, avoid selling on Saturdays. Prices rarely go above 200 bells. Number four, bigger house equals more storage. Managing the storage space you have, especially earlier on, or the more stuff you make, buy, and collect, which is the whole point of the game, can be super frustrating. Our advice, don't put off paying off Tom Nook's debt. 
Just upgrading from a tent to a house is a big help, but the more rooms you have in your house, the more storage you'll have. So if you're low on space, keep that in mind and keep working on giving Tom Nook what he wants. Number three, Bell Tree Limit. In Animal Crossing, money does grow on trees. As you probably already know, when you see a glowing spot on the ground, you can dig it up and find a bag of 1,000 bells. If you rebury it or throw in an amount of your choice, a money tree will grow in a few days. Something to keep in mind when planting bells in a golden slot is that you can plant up to 10,000 bells for three times that amount. You can add more, but you won't get more than 30,000. Usually. Some have reported making a bit extra, but this seems to be purely by chance, so don't count on it. Number two, hold on to gold nuggets. While gold nuggets can be valuable to sell early on, you'll want to consider hanging on to them. Not only because they're rare to find in the first place, but because you'll be able to craft gold tools with them. Gold tools last way longer than your average tool. Obtaining the DIYs to be able to upgrade your tools is already quite a bit of effort in the first place, so the last thing you'll want after all that is to then have to hunt gold nuggets down. Number one, four spawn tarantulas or scorpions. Tarantulas and scorpions sell for a whopping 8,000 bells each. So how can you find more of them faster? Buy a Nook Miles ticket and shovel down some fruit cause we're going on a journey to destroy absolutely everything. There is a chance of landing on an actual tarantula island, but the odds are pretty slim. So, after 7 p.m., head over to Dodo Airlines and take a Mystery Island tour. The landscape of certain Mystery Islands can allow you to spawn a greater number of tarantulas or scorpions. Clear the island of all trees, stumps, rocks, flowers, you can ignore the weeds, place things on the beach if needed, and make sure to scare away any other bugs on the island. Once everything is clear, the spawn rate for the deadly insects will greatly increase. Also, keep an eye out for Flick. He'll buy them from you for 12,000 bells each. You're welcome. Oh,